Mary loves dick. Are you a skeptic? Well, does he look like a bitch? 10. Appearing on TV. Now, he's appeared on TV many times over the years, and he's shown himself to be a capable entertainer. Able to prove his abilities? No, not at all. There's a great many readings from early on in his career, but where he's basically claiming to contact those people who've moved on, and he's not prepared, not fed very much information, and he's obviously fishing and then reeling in the person he's reading. And perhaps the best example of this is where he's doing a reading for Yvette Fielding before he did Most Haunted. If anything, him doing psychic tricks on TV may have made his career, but it also has provided evidence that he uses cold reading. 9. Ghost hunting, ghost faking. So Derek Akora was on Most Haunted and then Ghost Towns and has appeared on numerous documentaries about contacting the dead. There have been numerous times where he's given information about a ghost that doesn't actually exist. There's no history behind it. It's been a place where a story's been made up to give the place a bit more character. Or the information has been so obvious because it's been researched online. Stuff you can look up on your mobile phone. There have also been confirmed instances of him being fed information by the crew. And we obviously know that those sorts of programs are typically faked. And what you have is a bunch of people stumbling around in the dark, spooking each other. Did you hear something? What's that? While the medium merely needs to suggest that the spirit has a particular personality, a fairly common name, or relates it to some of the history of the location. You don't even need to be very specific, but if you do, doing some research before the event, before the actual investigation, makes it all the more convincing for the credulous audience at home. Eight. He's called the UK's top medium. Now, Derek Cora has used it on his books, used it on tour posters, and he was called that a decade ago or more, probably more like 15 years ago, by a mainstream paper, and it's been repeated ever since as a kind of validation for his abilities, even though it's got nothing to do with confirmation. It's simply something said by a particular journalist, passed on by other lazy journalists, and then used in local papers more recently, and by his own people, to promote his shows. 7. Derek Akora is opposed to unscrupulous mediums. So this spiritualist cold reader, who's used tricks, appeared on Most Haunted, and not actually confirmed his ability, has a problem with mediums who don't have proper ethics. Ladies and gentlemen, is that good enough for you? And yet Derek Akora is the one raking in millions every year, dismissing critics as close-minded, and made his career as a medium by stumbling around in the dark, putting on a silly voice, with his eyes closed. And due to his track record, even many spiritualists consider Derek Akora to not be a principled, ethical medium. 6. Derek Possessed Now I'm sure many of you have seen the videos out there of Derek Akora claiming to be possessed by angry spirits. And to many believers it can seem to be very real, although many spiritualists reject his so-called abilities as mere acting. So when Derek Akora is possessed, or in a so-called trance, you don't get exactly clear communication, do you? Uh, <laughs> oh no, the channeling failed. You have a lot of hissing, grumbling, groaning, rocking around. Of course, the good thing about that is you can simply keep on giving out, well, no information, or very little information, and seem like you're achieving something. And all you really need to do is remember a few things about the place. Throw out a few names, and if you don't have any information, throw out a few general bits of information, 
and then just simply get into a fight with the crew. Five. Back in early 2014, Derek Okora got in a car crash. He injured the two women in the other car. He was driving his sports car. And when the police arrived, he refused to take a breath test. We don't know he was drunk, but it was one of the charges brought up in the courtroom. Reckless driving above the speed limit and injuring two women. They were rushed to hospital because of whiplash. And what's the comeuppance for Derek Okora and his reckless and possibly drunk driving? A thousand pounds and 28 months off the road and a few smaller minor fees and that's it. Four, Mary Loves Dick. One of the most controversial clips of Most Haunted has Derek Okora supposedly getting voices from spirits and he's saying there's Mary and there's Robert and Mary Loves Dick. The crew barely able to contain their laughter and after three minutes of filming the end of the clip actually has the crew breaking up in laughter. But I think the really interesting thing about this clip is that you have Derek Okora giving out the most obvious names you could imagine. It's also worth noting that the images here were originally shown in Most Haunted in green colouring as some kind of fake night vision. This was exposed by bad psychics amongst others and an insider actually leaked the footage in full colour with the laughter afterwards. So it's kind of evidential of the fake nature of that program. And that is proof of ghosts. And of course you've got to remember ghosts come out in the dark. Three, Derek Okora's claims about Maddie McCann. A young girl went missing from her family over in Portugal a number of years ago. A couple of years ago, Derek Okora made a number of predictions about celebrities and also about Maddie McCann. His specific claims about Maddie McCann were that she died and that she's now reincarnated. It's stupid statements and stupid actions like this that has made Derek Okora still popular in the theatres but basically not suitable for mainstream television. And the spirit connection into the earth which goes back to the Vikings. Two. The Wacko Jacko Seance. To get paranormal views and celebrity views, they brought together Derek Okora and the disincarnate spirit of Michael Jackson. And all you find with this seance is a series of really weak, cliche statements from Derek Okora. And with these sorts of programs, we see how low people are willing to stoop in order to make money. And after the event, as an effort of damage limitation, Derek actually said he wasn't aware of the full details of the show, that he thought he was going to be dealing with family members, not with fans, and that he thought he'd be able to make a stronger contact than he actually did. Although in actuality, he wasn't in the dark. He had the majority of details. For all the publicity, all the controversy, all the money, Derek Okora ensured that he will be remembered as a medium for years to come, even though the seance itself was pathetic. 1. Creed Kafer equals Derek Okora. On the TV series of Most Haunted, Derek Okora was the star medium, and Kieran O'Keefe was the token sceptic. And it seemed that this resident medium was able to give very accurate information. But with one particular instance, Kieran O'Keefe realised there was a problem. Derek went into one room, leant against a bedpost with an old, very old bed, and claimed to get information about people witnessing the bed levitating. He claimed he got the information from the energies of the bed, and several people have claimed just that. However, unbeknownst to Derek Cora, it wasn't that bed. It was another, very similar bed, in another room. So at that point, Kieran O'Keefe considered the probability that Derek Accor was researching the places he was going to before actually going to them, or being fed information by the crew. He decided to fabricate a character 
and let the information of this character get passed on to Derek. So while they were visiting Bodmin Jail, Kieran O'Keefe invented this character called Creed Kefer, and he's meant to be a South African jailer. He wrote it down and asked another member of the crew to mention it to Derek. So later on, when the cameras are rolling, Derek Cora gives off this information as if it's real, as if he's getting it from the afterlife. The name Creed Kafer is in fact an anagram of Derek Faker. So three weeks later, at another location, Kieran O'Keefe tries the same trick. But on this occasion, the character was called Rick Edels, which is an anagram for Derek Lies. Because of these instances, the Most Haunted program got rid of Derek Cora. To be entirely fair, the show has benefited from removing Derek Cora, who was actually damaging the product by making the program too unbelievable, even for the believers. But of course, that's the official story, that it was Kieran O'Keefe. But in actual case, it was Carl Beatty, who is the one arranging this debunking of Derek Cora. So by courting controversy, he has ensured that his work as a stage medium will continue, if only because his fans will continue to believe, and his critics will continue to be curious. Does he look like a bitch? And while you're here, please check out these two channels. Of course! Efforts to stabilize the atmosphere have failed. We have arrived at the only remaining course of action. The conquest and occupation of Earth. Earth. Oh.